Ladies and gentlemen, the Moonshiners DLC for Red Dead Online is finally here and I'm here to give you a quick overview how you can get started with your Moonshiners business. When you first load into Red Dead Online, what you will see on your top left of your screen is a message telling you to head over to Emerald Ranch. If you do so, you will be seeing a mission marker and upon entering that mission marker, there will be a cutscene playing, which will kind of go over the story behind the whole Moonshiner business. Once you're done watching that cutscene, you will be given a map and which will have six locations on there, which will will allow you to choose what location you want to start using for your new bootlegger operation. Now these six locations don't seem to be doing anything different apart from just being in a different location. As so far as I've played the mission so far, they all seem to be pretty random in terms of what locations they're in, so there doesn't really seem to be a best location. Having said this though, they're all 25 gold bars, which does mean it's gonna cost a pretty penny. How worth it is to actually go and buy into this moonshiner business at this time is not really something that is known as we're still trying to figure out how all this stuff works and if it actually is very profitable or not. Then once you have decided what location you want to go with then it's time to head down to your shack where you will be given two missions to complete in order to get your operation going. First of course you need to grab the materials wagon in order to even have materials to start making this stuff as well as a cook who is not Mr. White but it's just that a Frenchman called Marcel. Now Marcel is apparently really good at making moonshine so so we'll be sticking him into a basement and give him one simple task, make us moonshine, which he will be doing for the rest of his life. Now once Marcel is finally in his place, it's time to start making some moonshine. Now in order to do this, all you need to do is you need to go to the basement and have a talk with Marcel. There you will be given the option to purchase the mash ingredients that you need in order to start making moonshine, as well as what ingredients you want to be using for your flavor. Now the flavor is the one thing that is going to determine what value you're going to have in order to start selling this stuff. At first, you're going to be starting off with a small portion to sell, which is going to take 30 minutes in real time in order to be ready to be sold. Now there's one big thing that I should definitely mention here is that if you want to reduce the mash ingredients cost, what you should be doing is doing some bootlegger missions or story missions, which you can get from Madame Feek who is sitting behind the desk upstairs. Now bootlegger missions seem to be able to be done every 10 minutes, so make sure to keep doing those, not only which is good for your roll XP, but it's also really good to keep the price down in order to make bigger profits. Because every time you do a bootlegger mission, the price of the mash will be decreased by $10. And you can keep decreasing the mash price all the way down to $10. Another thing you want to be very aware of is that if you are in the middle of making a batch of moonshine, you do not want to change the flavor of that moonshine. Moonshine. Doing so will change the flavor and also the value of the moonshine you're gonna sell. So say for example you start off with a flavor that will get you $82. If you happen to change that in the middle of making this moonshine and changing the value to like $70, it will mean that if it finally is full you're gonna sell for the $70 and not for the $82 you initially started with. Changing the flavor will also change the value so do keep that in mind if you decide to change the flavor to something different. Speaking of flavors by the way if you want to make your life a lot easier and you do happen to have the collector roll then you can also decide to buy herbs from Madame Nazar instead of picking them up around the world it's one dollar per herb and for example with the 82 dollar option that you have at the moonshine business it's only three dollars in total to sell for 82 dollars which is a pretty nice profit Obviously, not taking into account how much the mash ingredients cost, but if you've been doing bootleg emissions, there will only be a $10 investment, which will mean you'll make a nice profit of almost $70. Now, once your moonshine business is ready to be sold, it will also give you a message while you're roaming around in free roam, telling you that it's able to be sold, and what you want to do then is to simply head back to the basement and talk to Marcel in order to start the sale mission. A pro tip by the way, if you happen to be far away from your moonshine business, you are able to fast travel from wherever you are to your moonshine business, which will save you a bunch of time. So while you're doing the sale mission, what you want to make sure of is that you don't get shot or damage any of the bottles in the wagon. Because doing so, from my experience, it will lose you $5 for every bottle that you damage. Which means that in my case, instead of getting $82, I got $61 for my sale mission, which 
is a bit cruel. Also, that ambush that you're seeing on your screen, don't fall for it. Just drive past it as fast as you can because it is a trap every single time. And yes, I have fallen for it about two times already. And then one last tip as well is that with the Outlaw Pass, which costs 40 gold bars, you will be able to get an increase of 15% to your roll XP as well as at rank 49 of the Outlaw Pass, this will increase to 25%. And if you're looking to rank up your Outlaw Pass quickly, a really good idea is to check if you have some collections ready to be sold for Badam Nazar because they will give you a crap ton of XP. But that was it for this one. Thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed or found it useful. Subscribe for more Red Dead Moonshine and DLC content coming to you very soon. And I'll see you all later.